stampers this is Dawn from Dawn's Big Thoughts Net, and today I'm going to show you how to make this cardinal using the bird builder punch and then we're going to make some puffy paint so let's go ahead and get started okay so I went ahead and put the base of the card together we're using cherry cobbler for the base and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter and then a piece of crumb cake which is cut at four by five and a quarter and then a piece of whisper white which is cut at three and three quarter by five and then this piece, I used the hardwood, and that stamp looks like this. So then I went ahead and cut that, and it's two inches by three and three quarter. Okay, so now let's go ahead and start with the puffy paint. Okay, so I'm using white glue. This is Elmer's glue. You can buy this at the dollar store. And then I'm using some shaving cream, and then also a paper plate and a spoon. And you don't really need much of this unless you're making like multiple of these cards. But I figure I'm just going to use a spoon. You're going to use equal portions of the shaving cream and then also the glue. So I'm just going to spray the shaving cream into the spoon. Put that in my plate. And then I'm going to pour the glue same way. Let me scoop this out here. Okay, then pour the glue. Okay, so if you use too much, it won't be so puffy after it dries. So you just have to experiment with your puffy paint. Then you're just going to go ahead and mix that up really, really good. Do you want this to be the consistency? Here, let me wipe my hand off. Okay, so you want the consistency of your puffy paint to be pretty thick so it doesn't tip over and dump out. You just don't want it runny. So you want it kind of thick, okay? And you can add more glue, more So foam. let's go ahead, I'm gonna just show you how I did my card. And I'm using just a cheap paintbrush. And I'm just scooping this up, and I'm just gonna place this right on the fence, representing the snow. I'm actually going to put my cardinal right there, so I want to make a little spot. So he sits there, cute. You might want to do two coats just so that it dries really, really good. So let the first coat dry. And then I'm just going to go ahead and dab little dots for the snow. Now on a couple of these cards I made, I added dazzling diamonds to the puffy paint also. So that's kind of cute. Okay. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Looks like snow. All right, so now let's go ahead and make the cardinal. We're using the Bird Builder Punch and then also the Owl Builder Punch. So the three colors I'm using are Real Red and Basic Black and then Hello Honey. So we're going to cut out two of the birds. Okay, then you're going to go ahead and punch out the beak part of the bird. So I'm just going to punch out part of the head. Because so I just mainly want that beak, which is so tiny. And then for the black, we're going to use the Owl Builder Punch. We're going to use this breastplate right here of the owl. We just need the top part of that. Okay, so here are the pieces we're using. I'm gonna go ahead and sponge the cardinal first, the real red pieces with the real red classic ink first. We're gonna pop the wing up on the body first. We're gonna pop that up with the dimensional. And I'm just going to put it right on the body, just like that. Okay, and then this wing, the point is going to go in the back of his head. So I'm going to put some adhesive. So it looks like that. You can also cut some edges into the head part right here. 
I'm going to cut it to the back. Okay, and then you can fan it out just like that. All right, so now here's the tiny, tiny pieces. We're going to cut the beak off right there. Uh, so little. Okay, so now this part, it's already got the notch for the beak. So now it's just a matter of just making his face. And I'm just going to, it's literally just cutting it kind of wiggly. There's no really way to say it. <laughs> Okay, so there's really no right or wrong with the face part. So that's what it looks like there. Okay, and then I'm going to use the multi-liquid glue because that's um, very forgiving when you're putting the face together. So I'm just going to put the beak on first. Probably could use some tweezers. Okay. So just lining that up onto the red part of the bird. Looks like I should have cut it down a little bit on the top. That's all right. We're going to hopefully cover it up with this black piece. So I'm just going to go ahead and put some more liquid glue. And then this is going to go right here. Just like that. I hope that's showing up on the camera. Let me pick it up here. Let me put it on this. Hopefully that's showing up good. Isn't it cute? All right, so then we're going to use the basic pearls for the eye. And what I did for that is I just took the smallest basic pearl and I took my black Sharpie and I just colored the pearl with the black. This is going to make his eye. And they already have adhesive on there, so it's perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and pick that up and just put it onto the black part of the cardinal. Isn't that cute? Okay, so now let's put him on the card. I'm going to put the dimensional towards the top. Since I put the snow here, I just want him to adhere to the card really, really good. Okay, so we're just going to pop him up right here. Move him up a little bit. Okay, right there. Isn't that cute? And then, like I said, you could add some dazzling diamonds. Like this one, I think it picks up. The dazzling diamonds on the snow. Okay, so let me show you the stamp sets we use for this card. Now, the foliage on the background is a retired stamp set, and it's from the Ornamental Pine. It's right here. And the greeting, Merry Christmas to you and yours, is from the Six Sayings, and this is a hostess only stamp set. All right, so that's how you make that bird and that puppy paint. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.